Hello, hello, hello. What's up? It's your girl, Twan the Mystic from housemystic.com. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, what's up? I'm Twan the Mystic, okay? So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this reading. Y'all been saying y'all wanted more collective readings, so I'm, I'm bringing them out there, you know? I'm putting them out, you know? <laughs> so here's another one for you guys, okay? Um... So I like to start with this deck first, my tarot deck. Okay, so yeah. Also, if you feel like you want to get a reading from your girl, that information is below. If you want to tip me, that information is below. If you want to um, buy my art, follow me on social media, all that information is below, okay? So definitely check that out, okay? All right, so... What are we talking about today? The Queen of Wands. Okay. Starting off hot. <laughs> Love it. Oh, okay. Eight of Pentacles. This is Sun in Virgo. Some of you guys could be a Virgo. Maybe some of you guys are one of the mutable signs. Virgo, Taurus. I was going to say Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Maybe actually that's what I was supposed to say. Maybe. Maybe you're one of the Earth signs. Because pentacles do represent Earth, but I was also picking up on the mutable signs, which are Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, and Sagittarius. Um, because yeah, and then we do have fire here, so yes, but this is fire and earth, I think. I think. Yeah. Um, I think. <laughs> But yes, this is definitely Sun and Virgo. So yeah, I wow. I feel like what this reading is about, especially with how the sun started beaming as soon as I started, when I press, press record, okay, I definitely feel like spirit is wanting you to be more confident in your, your creative, oh, wait, 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 before, okay, let me just finish what I was going to say before. I say what else I'm about to say. Spirit wants you to be confident in your ideas, in something that you're feeling called to go towards. Spirit is saying to feel confident in it. And I just like this. I just love this card because I love how the fire is just on her head and how she's working on the pentacle. And it's just making me think that you have some ideas that spirit is like, take action on them and feel confident that in these ideas and these things that you're feeling called to do because it's you're meant to do it basically okay um yeah and then the bottom of the deck here we have the king of wands here so whenever i see pair oh oh <laughs> hold on hold on because i'm getting i'm getting some stories here. Okay. So first of all, let me just, let me put this over here because first of all, whenever I see two, like when I see a king and a queen, it's always making me think of peep like counterparts. Okay. So it's making me think that you are meeting your match. Okay. If you haven't met your boo yet, they're coming. Love is definitely on the way. Yeah, I see someone that wants to work on things with you or something. Hmm. I see someone that wants to like build something stable, long lasting with you. Some of you could already be this or be with this person. Maybe you just met this person or you're about to meet this person. Um, And they could be fire or air. Yeah, they could be. Wait. No air. Oh, okay. So this is, oh, okay. So this is water. This is water and fire. And this is air and fire. My bad. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. So I definitely feel like, yeah, there's someone that wants to work on things with you and they are your match. Okay. And they could be an air or fire sign. They could have air or fire in their chart or um, they don't have to. They don't have to. But I definitely feel like you are meeting your match. 
Okay, and they want to work on things with you. Or this could even just be you finding the perfect job, the perfect the perfect solution to some type of situation that you've been trying to work out. Okay? There could be a perfect solution to something you've been trying to work out. Um maybe you end up getting a dream job or you end up getting like a big opportunity which came up in another reading, so maybe you need to go watch one of my previous collective readings but yeah this energy is very interesting but the other story that's coming up here the t okay there's another king here <laughs> there is another king but there's one queen <laughs> and i feel like this queen is you <laughs> so i feel like and then we have the three of cups here so huh Interesting. I definitely feel like some of you guys, maybe some of you guys are getting back into dating or something and then you end up meeting your match with this uh this king of wands here. Maybe you end up meeting your match or something, but there's definitely this king of cups here that's showing up that like maybe they try to cuz especially cuz it's king of cups, maybe they try to play with your emotions or something like that. But some something came up in a previous reading about someone trying to turn, like, spin the spin the block, okay? People are definitely trying to spin the block. And then even how we have this Three of Cups here. Three of Cups. So someone I definitely feel like is trying to spin the block. Maybe they put you in a third-party situation or something like that. But, um, yes. But this is also making me think that you, maybe you aren't taking relationship serious right now actually maybe some of you guys have decided to do that and but then you end up meeting this king of wands okay so maybe some of you guys have not met this person yet and you're you know in this like you know i'm just having fun phase where you're just like ah ah i'm doing me right now but there's someone that ends up being a match okay someone that ends up being a match but maybe some of you guys you know been saying like okay where my boo at where am I at? <laughs> but I do feel like some of you guys, there is someone trying to come back that either tried to put you in a 30, third party situation or they tried to play with your emotions in some shape or form. This could have been a friend too. Someone that like tried to gaslight you or like, you know, maybe something like that. But I do feel though that this could also be your creativity. This could also be your creativity. Oh, look, 422. Okay, this could also be your creativity where you are, because this is Mercury energy here. Mercury and Cancer. So this could also be your creative energy where you are working on multiple projects at a time, especially because like look at all these pentacles. It almost feels like some of you guys could be like working on stuff behind the scenes, like some type of project. But some of you guys, this could be you working on your body, you know, getting your summer, summer body in order. Or this is something that you're doing behind the scenes, okay? But I feel like you're doing a lot of work right now, but it's like, it's giving work hard, play hard. I don't know, like, yeah, I feel like you have an opportunity to do both. Like, I see your work life and your personal life being very, very fulfilling, you know? So I love that for you. I love that for you. And it's looking like love about to be fulfilling too. I, wow, you're definitely meeting your match, okay? So let's um let's do these cards because yeah. Sorry if that was loud. You have headphones in or something. So let's you know and also make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna be pulling from the bowl of answers, okay? Okay. Okay. So we have the transformer. I transform myself as a caterpillar transforms into a butterfly. Yeah. And the fact that the... Oh, snap. I was just outside smoking a blunt. <laughs> and there was caterpillars all over the gate. And I just was like... Well, not all over the gate, but there was like two of them. And I was just like, oh, this feels like a sign or something. And look, we have, I transform myself as a caterpillar transforms into a butterfly. 
So yeah, I feel like some of you guys are doing a lot of work on yourself behind the scenes. You're working on projects. You're, you know, working on yourself. Like you're really working on yourself, your mind, especially with this, with the fire on her head like that, even with the queen of wands, with the fire on her crown. I feel like you've been like becoming a lot more confident in yourself, your ideas, and maybe you're not even like not confident in yourself. It's more so like you're just feeling motivated. Like you're just motivated to get what's in your mind out onto paper or something like that, or to take action on what's in your mind instead of like procrastinating. The desirable, <laughs> I accept my desires as a pure expression of my essential self. So the fact that we have the desirable is like, yeah, people are desiring you. Like I, f I feel like you're gonna be getting multiple love offers. That's what I'm saying. Like. You're going to be getting multiple love offers and then, but you're going to meet this king of wands and this king of wands could, it doesn't have to be, it could be a guy, it could be a girl, you know, whatever you're into, you know, whatever you're into. But, um, yeah, uh, you are, you're definitely meeting your match, but I also feel like you looking good as hell, uh collective i feel like you're looking good i feel like you are glowing you're shining you got a pep in your step i don't know you've been i don't know you've been doing something you've been working on yourself or something and maybe you just realizing who the hell you are and i feel like that's why queen of wands is here like you're remembering ah oh, you're remembering who the hell you are like someone someone tries to make you forget or someone tries to act like they ain't know and, that, and I feel like that's why they tried to return. And you just like, nah, nope. <laughs> like I said, this could be a like an ex-lover. This could be a friend. This could be, I don't know, someone that tried to play in your face. The, uh, uh, <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> Look, because you're amazing. Look, we have the benefactor. I enjoy now as I take. Or I enjoy life now as I take steps to realize my new tomorrow. Like, first of all, look, like I said, you're enjoying yourself. You're enjoying life. Like, you're not taking anyone or anything too seriously. Like, you, you, I feel like some of you guys are playing the field. You're not taking shit seriously. But that's when you end up meeting this person. Like, it's funny. But I also feel like you're just having fun in life or whatever. But this benefactor card is just letting me know, like, someone from the past is realizing that you, how much value that you brought to the table and they didn't realize before and now they're trying to return and it's like, no, <laughs> no, no. But also I feel like you're creating a new tomorrow. Like you've been doing the work. You've been taking steps. You've been, I don't know. You've just been doing something on yourself and just really doing inner work on yourself and I don't know. You're about to change the life of people around you. Like, I don't know. What y'all, what y'all do? <laughs> okay. What do you be doing? Like, what is your career? <laughs> because like something you're about to do is really about to benefit you, your family and your like generations to come. Like the changes you make, your, the interchanges you make, probably something you do with your career. Um, I don't know, but you are like changing the game or something in your bloodline and you are going to be benefiting the people around you, like in your family. But I also feel like you're going to be benefiting the collective because of like your something you put out there, whether it's your art, your content, your your book, your cooking, your products, your your energy, your your intelligence, your skill set whatever it may be, but the world needs it. And yeah. Okay. The worker. What? <laughs> this is just so funny because I said, what do you do for your career or something like that? I just said, and it says the worker. I enjoy getting in touch with who I am as an, as an individual. Like I said, you are 
finding yourself. You've been working on yourself. And the fact that this is saying, I enjoy getting in touch with who I am as an individual. And it says the worker, literally, you've been working on yourself. You've been doing a lot of like inner work. I like, I don't know what you've been doing. Maybe you've been like saying affirmations. Maybe you've been praying. Maybe you've been listening to subliminal message meditations. Maybe you've been like listening to self-help com- content. There's something you've been doing that is very, that's been benefiting you. And that's why you look good as hell. But that's also why good things are happening for you. Okay. So let's pull another one from this deck. All right. The truthful. Wow, the truthful. I speak my truth and expect everyone I care about to do so too. Yeah. And that's why certain people, you're like, nope, you're a liar. <laughs> With some people. But um, yeah, I definitely see you living your truth though too. Because I see you, you've been put in work with something. Oh, look, and my phone vibrated. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I wanted to choose from a different deck. Oh. T Bro, look, it says stripping illusions, and this is 27. We have 26 and the 27. So, and that's, yeah. Yeah, stripping in illusions like you are, you know, who's lying, who's fake, who's who's real, who's not, you know, you know. But also with this des this desirable, I definitely feel like I said some people like people are seeing how good you look and who you are and, you know, seeing your energy and they're drawn to it. And some people are real and some people are not. OK, and you gonna know, you gonna know. But um, I definitely see this person with this love offer, especially with this King of Cups. It makes me think of Pisces energy. No offense to Pisces. Um, but I, really water energy in, in general. Look, my rising is Cancer, so no offense to the water signs. But I definitely feel like there's someone that tried to pull the wool over your eyes. Okay? And yeah, stripping illusions. But I also feel like in life in general, like maybe you were just ex being a lot of experiencing a lot of confusion, not knowing what to do next, not knowing uh, what you really wanted to do with yourself. But I see you really gaining clarity, knowing who you are and just believing more in yourself and just really. Oh, look, we got perception at the bottom of the deck. That's crazy as hell. Yes, you're literally like perception. You seeing through some people's bullshit. You're seeing through bullshit in general. <laughs> You're seeing through it in general. And yeah, I I feel like there's there's some people that tried to pull the wool over your eyes, but I think just in general in life where you were confused and things like that, you didn't really know what to do. Maybe I don't know, I don't like to say stuff like this, but I'm, I'm saying it because I'm really finding out that this shit, not I finding out that this shit is real as fuck, but more so finding out that people that you never would expect that are into like dark magic and stuff like that, they are. <laughs> they are. So like for some of you guys, there's some people that may have wanted to keep your mind cloudy or something like that. This could be for a select few, but yeah, um, definitely cleanse your energy. Look, psychic development, look. Yeah. You know, you know who's real, you know who's not. And maybe some of you guys have been wondering if you've been feeling attacked psychically or something. And this is a sign that you are for some of you guys. Don't make it fit if it don't. Okay. Struggle. Yeah. Some of you guys, maybe some of you guys have been tired as hell. And maybe you're realizing like, and maybe it's not even a spell for some of you guys. It's just really certain energies and you're realizing like, yeah, I don't need to be around this. I don't need to be around this. You know? Um, retreat. Yeah, see? 
retreat. <laughs> yeah. But I also see you guys retreating to do work. Some of you guys could be retreating to do work. Some of you guys could be retreating to, um, yeah, work on yourself. Oh, yeah, like I said, like working on stuff behind the scenes. But you letting, you not letting people know what you're doing. Um, yeah. Inner journey. Yeah, look, you're working on yourself. I said it. I said it. In ancient wisdom, yeah, you are, you're tapping into some type of energy. I don't know. Like, you've been doing some inner work. You've been maybe listening to those affirmations, subliminal message meditations. Like I said, like, you've been doing something on yourself and it's paying off. Yeah, changes. You can definitely expect changes. And then we have past, present, future. Yeah, you're looking at your past. You're seeing like, nah, you're in the present working on things that will benefit your future. Okay. And when, um, actually, no, let's choose from the bowl of answers real quick. Cause my computer about to die. Ah. Okay. Going back to school, taking classes and research will create more money. So yeah, I see many of you guys doing some work behind the scenes yeah some of you guys could be going back to school or something or like doing research working on some things taking time to retreat and do these things aries yep that came up in another reading yeah i see you taking action oh look i want to wine and dine your fine ass yes yeah, someone is Someone is definitely meeting their match, okay? There's definitely someone that's going to be very much, like, interested. Okay? And then, cuff it. Yeah, someone wants to cuff you. Someone definitely wants to cuff you, and they're going to be actually, like, showing you. Like, you're really going to meet your king of wands, okay? Your match. But some of you guys are kind of like, ah, 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 you know? Eh. and then we have on my mom come on look on my mama on my hood i look fly i look good like i said you look good you look good okay and look <laughs> it says i don't think i want a relationship right now i see that really being you because maybe you just like you just been dealing with a lot with with uh your love life and you're like, all right, someone gonna have to show me something different. But until then, I'm just having fun. I'm living my life, but I feel like there's someone that's gonna be this king of wands energy, and they're gonna be like, Look, you're you're my woman, you're my man. Okay, like look, 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 I'm serious. <laughs> okay. I see it. I see it. And they're going to be your match. And you're just going to be like, oh, you know what? Hmm. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But I also see someone else from your past trying to make they make they rounds, make their way back. Mm -mm -mm. So we're going to leave it right here. <laughs> okay. Um, if this reading resonated with you, let me get a sunflower emoji in the comments. Because look, we got... The sunflower for the queen of wands. That's you. Okay. All right. So, yes, if you would like to book your girl for a reading, you want to tip your girl, you want to buy my art or any of my fun products that I've created, definitely check out all the links below. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you're updated every single time I drop something new. Um, yeah, I think I really said everything I need to say, right? Yeah. All right, y'all. I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Peace.